In this tutorial, we will derive the equation that relates the density of an unknown solid sample with the buoyant force exerted by a fluid with this density, rho sub liquid. Consider an unknown solid sample represented by this cube. Let's denote its weight in air as W sub A. Note that the weight in air is equal to the mass of the sample multiply to acceleration due to gravity. Now when we submerge the sample in a liquid, in this case water, according to Archimedes principle, the sample experiences an upward force called buoyant force. In this video, we denote the buoyant force with F sub B. This time, the object will have a new weight called weight in water denoted by W sub W. Apparently, Weight in water is equal to the object's weight in air minus the influence of the upward buoyant force. So rearranging this in terms of buoyant force, we have F sub B equals W sub W minus W sub A. Let's call this equation 1. Based on Archimedes' principle, the force F sub B or the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid or liquid. In equation, F sub B is equal to the mass of the displaced fluid or liquid M sub L times the acceleration due to gravity G. Now recall that the definition of density rho is equal to mass divided by volume. Let's rearrange this equation in terms of m equals rho times volume. Therefore, I can rewrite m sub l here in terms of rho times volume. The volume of the displaced liquid is obviously the same as the volume of the object or the sample submerged in the liquid. This means that V sub L is equal to V sub S or the volume of the sample. And by definition of density, V sub S is equal to mass of sample M sub S divided by density of sample rho sub S. So we can substitute this expression for V sub L. Let's regroup M sub S times G. And from our previous expression, this is equal to the weight in air of the sample. Now let's call this equation as equation 2. We now have two expressions for buoyant force using equation 2 to equation 1 we obtain this equation and then rearranging this equation in terms of rho sub s the density of the sample on the left side of the equation we obtain our target equation. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.